It was an unseasonably warm morning in late December when Marsha and I, along with eight other paying customers, met up with Mike from Silver River Kayaking, a nice outfit that rents kayaks and provides guided tours of the spring and river. We put in near the spring head, then waited while the famous glass bottom boats maneuvered to give sightseers a better view of the spring miles where thousands of liters of water per minute at a constant 72 degrees gushed forth from deep within the earth to form the Silver River. Once the big tour boats were out of the way, we were free to casually drift down the river. We floated along at a leisurely pace while turtles, herons, and an ahinga warmed themselves in the morning sun. Wildlife here is protected, and they're used to the sight of humans slowly drifting downriver. It was an idyllic day, warm sun and cool breezes, and few biting bugs. Winter in Florida means that it's a bit less green, and the bug population seems to take a hiatus, something to be thankful for. And it isn't a Florida river unless you see one of these. This gator is about six foot long. This one's about four foot long but this one is at least 10 foot long. Ubiquitous Spanish moss catches the breeze and waves at us as we slowly drift by. And just beneath the river surface, manatees. Manatees spend their summers along the Atlantic coast, but in the winter, they head inland where river temperatures are warmer. As we slowly approach the end of our eight mile trek down river, we hope to see at least one of the recent addition to the Silver River Menagerie, Rhesus Monkeys. These playful primates were brought here in the 1950s and 60s to be backdrops to the many jungle-themed movies and TV shows that were filmed in the area. Their population has grown over the decades, and they seem well-adjusted to life here in the Sunshine State. These little guys have come to watch another flotilla of humans drift by. We are happy to see that this 10-foot gator is more interested in staying warm than in catching dinner. A heartfelt thank you to Marsha for accompanying me on this grand experience.